We're here at the border town of Ursal in Lebanon with the task force team. And uh, behind me, you can see the camp, Camp Noor. And we're going to be distributing winter aid packs um, to the 85 families that reside here in this camp. And you'll see uh, the task force GLM trucks loaded with food packs, with clothing, with diesel for heaters. Um, and, and you'll see the families come out out of excitement uh, and, and seeing that they're going to get some aid. Um, inshallah, you'll see that shortly. Follow me. So uh, we're here now and the team are ready to unload the boxes from the truck and, and distribute them. You can see that um, the brothers and sisters are in anticipation of receiving the aid and they're lining up even though it's raining, uh, even though it's cold. Um, they're, they're looking forward to, to getting some food, getting some clothing. Uh, you can see over there that um, you know, we've got some diesel oil that they'll use to, to fuel um, the heaters throughout the winter and, and, and keep warm. So this is where your donations have, have provided some hope to these people. We've started the distribution here. As you can see, there's long queues. Um, and uh, if, you, if you come around this way, you can see that this gentleman is collecting tickets. Uh, and, and these vouchers allow the people, the families, to collect their, their aid. And this is also a good system to ensure that everyone within this camp gets, gets that aid. And you can see that uh, Brother Sufyan, Brother Zakaria, uh, Brother Sunny and Zubair, you know, the, the boxes that they're given that are full of food. Um, you, you've got these bags that are full of clothing um, for, for winter, things like uh, hats and coats. Um, you've also got uh, bread packs and you've also got um, three of those um, bottles of oil, um, you know, 30 litres that equates to. So uh, you can see that the box is very packed. You've got sugar, you've got salt, you've got tuna, you've got lentils, you've got rice, you've got pasta. Um, so it's a very full box and it's meant to last a family of six for at least two weeks. Uh, but obviously, you know, within this camp, especially in this remote area, food is food aid uh, and winter aid and any kind of aid is, is very scarce, um, so they make it last. So we've just followed this family, um, one of the beneficiaries of this camp, um, who have received the winter aid that you've kindly donated. We followed them back to, to their tent um, and we're just going to ask them a few questions about how they feel about receiving this aid, what this aid means to them, how would they survive the winter without it, so uh, we've just spoken to this uh, elderly uncle who has said that he's extremely grateful for the aid that he's received. Um, just yesterday he said he went out and begged um, for, some, um, for some oil that, so that he could heat up uh, his tent because the winter has started and he's, he's sick so he cannot work. Um, and he's, he's expressed extreme gratitude um, to, to everyone who's, who's donated and contributed and, and you know, shared the videos and, and uh, you know, raised awareness um, for the plight of these Syrian re refugees. With me here I have uh, Shahad and you, know, you can see from the way that she's dressed, she's not obviously dressed appropriately for the weather, it's now starting to rain um, and it's quite cold here. You can see that she has flip-flops on and you know, have a look at the, the kind of places that they have to stay in and they have to endure, um, you know, this very, very cold weather. Um, and, you know, we can make a small difference by providing them with some, some clothing, with some fuel for, for the heaters, with some food, and, you know, give them some hope that they'll see through the winter. We are Iswa in Lebanon, uh, the partner of Task Force GLM UK. Uh, we are implementing and delivering their projects when, when they are not here. But today they are here with us, came all the way along from UK uh, on their own expenses, all the brothers, just to deliver uh, the aid that you uh, donated, uh, delivering the amana for those the most needy uh, in our cell, in Bika Valley, in Lebanon. So we're here at the last camp um, that we're going to be visiting today and we're literally um, a stone throw away to the Palestinian border 
uh, to my left and the Syrian border to my right. And just, just behind, behind this van, just over there in the distance is the Golan Heights. Uh, and here you can see there's uh, a lot of Syrian refugees who are gathered here waiting, queuing up to receive um, their winter aid packs. So as, as usual, we've got the oil for their heaters, we've got food, clothing uh, and some bread. And inshallah, we're going to distribute now, put some smiles on faces and uh, end for the day. Thank you very much for your donations. Please continue supporting the work that we do.